a mezclar harina de maíz, agua y pollo. So now we're going to make the dough for the pupusas. It's going to be this corn flour, water, and a, a big tablespoon of the chicken powder. Okay, so I'm going to do eight cups of the maseca. This is the only brand I use. I think it's great. So I'm going to put on ocho tazas de harina de maíz, y siete tazas de agua, seven cups of water, un cuchara grande de pollo, and one cup of, one tablespoon of chicken powder. I had to measure it out first. I didn't make a mess. I'm going to put the chicken powder in first, and we'll stir it up just a little with our hands before we add the water. This gives a nice flavor to it. We can stir that in just a little bit. I usually do this by the kitchen sink so I can keep my hands clean while I'm doing it, but I'm going to stand over here today with you guys. Easier if you're by the sink. Okay, we're going to start adding the water. Mister, I like to make, now we're making masa. <laughs> the corn flour is turning into the dough. So the pupusas. I like to do mine a day ahead before I actually eat the pupusas. To me, it just uh, flavors up. Just and the dough's easier to handle. So I always do this part of day. You guys can see what you think. Fine. And I always make a lot, you guys. Because I want to eat it for a week. Or share it with everyone I know. Not going to make a little bit. I'm going to make a lot. You just keep working it in. And if we need to, we can always add a little more water. The base to start with. like to do. Get them in here. Let them mix this up. It's like Play-Doh. Oh, gooey. It's not gooey. Might have to add a little more water. That makes it really good. Okay, so you guys I was mixing it up, uh, like I told you, the 8 cups and 7 cups of water, but it felt like it was just a little too dry. And you'll just have to start with the base, and then if it feels a little dry, just keep adding a little bit more. So I actually added one more cup of water. So just to give you an idea, can you tell the consistency? This is the same recipe you would use for uh, making tamales. I mean tamales. Tortillas. Tortillas, people. If you want to make tortillas, can you tell how it, what it looks like? You'd add a little bit of water. So for now, we're going to let that be. I'm going to have you cover it with plastic. And then put your Tupperware lid on top of it. Seal it up really good. Put it in your fridge until we're ready to make our pupusas. 